Hi and hello, I am Athena Pondin here. Welcome to the Anatomy for the Biomedical Engineers class once again. Uh, in the previous video, we already saw the, what is the introduction of the human cell and what is the need of all these trillions of cells and everything. Uh, in the previous video itself, I say, say that uh, uh, in the next video, we are going to see the four important components of the cell. Uh, like that, in this video, we are going to see the four important organelles of the uh, human cell. That is a uh, nucleus, nucleolus, endoplasmic reticulum and the ribosomes. Come, let's see the video. Nucleus is the most important thing in a human cell. How far our brain is very important to the human body, like that this particular nucleus is very important to the cell. Because this particular nucleus will coordinate all the other organelle to do some of the functions. See, this particular nucleus is the most important. At the same time, this particular nucleus is the biggest organelle of compared to the other organelle present in a human cell. It, uh, it, uh, it originates uh, around uh, one tenth of the place of the human cell cytoplasm. Okay, so this is looking very large. Is it's like uh, this? You just uh, mentioned. You are just, uh, for example, if it is, this is a human cell and your nucleus is like this if it is a nucle uh, if it is a cell the nucleus is like this this particular nucleus is present in the middle of the cell now uh, in the cell this particular nucleus will coordinate all the other organelle to do function okay this particular nucleus consists of the small the double layered membrane called the nuclear membrane called the nuclear membrane that is a major difference we we, uh, we already saw it in the previous video this particular nuclear membrane is present only in the eukaryotic cell organism. In the prokaryotic cell organism, even though they are having the nucleus, they doesn't have this particular nuclear membrane. But eukaryotic cell, we are having the nuclear membrane. There is a double layer nuclear membrane to it will protect the nucleus in the cell. Okay. This particular nuclear membrane have some of the small pores, having some of the small pores in the layer of the nuclear membrane. That is called as a nuclear pores. That is called as a nuclear pores. That is the special reason for this, this particular requirement of this pores that we discussed in the later. So this is what. Then come to the inner portion of the nucleus. This nucleus, the inner portion of the nucleus having some of the semi-matrix fluid, semi-fluid matrix that is called as a nucleoplasm. That is called as a nucleoplasm. This is especially useful for uh, uh, the transportation medium. It is act as a transportation medium between the middle of the nucleus and the nuclear membrane. Okay, so this is nucleoplasm. Then come to the inner part. This is nothing but that is a the small core-like structure that is present in the nucleus. That is called as a nucleolus. That is called as a nucleolus. Okay, so this is a very important small descriptive structure about the nucleus. That is double layer nuclear membrane and nucleoplasm and then nucleolus. This is the small structure about and the nuclear pores in the nuclear membrane. Okay, then come to the functional part. This particular uh, main part of the cell do two different functions. One is it can able to synthesize the hereditary. Uh, sorry, it can able to store the hereditary material of a human body. The hereditary material is nothing but the DNA. That is a deoxyribosonucleic acid is stored in the nucleus. This is the main function. And the second function I already told, this particular nucleus will coordinate all the other cell organ. This is the second function. And then come to the function of the nucleolus. The nucleolus also having some of the special function. That is the most important function. That is, this particular nucleolus having the capability to synthesize ribosomes capability to synthesize ribosomes. This ribosome is a very, 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 very important thing. If you need energy, you need ribosomes because the ribosomes generating material is very important that will give the energy to each and every cells of the human body. Okay, so that particular ribosome is synthesized in the nucleolus. This particular ribosome is emerging, it, it, is, it is moving out from the nucleus that is why we need the pores in the nuclear membrane. Once the synthesis is getting over in the nucleolus, that particular synthesized ribosome will be coming out from the nucleus. That is why we need some of the pores in the nuclear membrane. 
okay so this is the reason why we have the pores okay so this is our the small description about the ribosome material i'm sorry uh, about the nucleus okay. So then uh, the next part is uh, from the here itself we can able to say. So here the next part is an endoplasmic reticulum. So endoplasmic reticulum is emerging out from the nuclear membrane structure. It is just like a, a hydra structure or just like an amoeboid or we can able to say octopus structure. Okay. Generally or naturally we have endoplasmic reticulum in a smooth nature. Smooth endoplasmic reticulum is there that particular smoothness will be turned into the hardness because of i already told you the ribosomes generated from the nucleolus that nuclear ribosomes will be emerging out through the pores of the nuclear membrane once it reaches the sum of the walls of the endoplasmic reticulum it will be deposited over the sum of the walls of the endoplasmic reticulum then the smoothness of the endoplasmic reticulum will be turned into the hardness so that is what we have the two different endoplasmic reticulum one is rough endoplasmic reticulum another one is smooth endoplasmic reticulum the roughness will be uh, done by because of the deposition of ribosomes over the walls of the endoplasmic reticulum okay that particular ribosomes will deposited over the walls of the endoplasmic reticulum that particular uh, uh, endoplasmic reticulum also con uh, contain the most important part that is called as a cisterna. Cisterna is a main important part. It is a disc shaped structure that is present in the rough endoplasmic reticulum. That cisterna. Cisterna is the another important part of the endoplasmic reticulum. It is a disc shaped structure. This is especially used for the transportation purpose. What kind of transportation I will tell you in the next topic. Okay. Please remember in the endoplasmic reticulum we need to remember rough endoplasmic reticulum, smooth endoplasmic reticulum, a ribosome deposition over the rough endoplasmic reticulum and then we have cisterna. So these are all the main important thing you need to remember about this endoplasmic reticulum. The next topic that is ribosomes. Ribosomes, we already know that the ribosomes are deposited over in the rough endoplasmic reticulum. Okay, that particular rough endoplasmic reticulum ribosome, deposited ribosomes, can able to synthesize the most important uh, chemical constant that is called as a protein. We know that how far the protein is very important for our human body. Each and every human uh, system need a protein uh, to do their function because energy will be dissipated from this particular protein. So every system need a protein. So that protein will be synthesized in the ribosomes part. That ribosome is present in the rough endoplasmic reticulum. Keep on remembering. Okay. So this particular ribosomes and this particular proteins will be synthesized in the ribosomes. That ribo that proteins will be coming out to the cytoplasm it is mingled with the cytoplasm for that they need some of the transport taking medium that is nothing but a cisterna the cisterna it's a disc shaped structure it will act as a transporting medium of a protein from the ribosomes to the cytoplasm of the cells okay that is why we need a cisterna so this is what very important thing and then come to the uh, another important function of the ribosomes so ribosome is also can able to synthesize ribose nucleic acid. Of course, ribose nucleic acid is nothing but RNA. So we, if we are going into deeper, we can able to say nucleus is also consist of so many uh, parts. At the same time, this endoplasmic reticulum is also uh, contain uh, so many parts inside it, and uh, we can able to say that we can able to uh, discuss about the layers of the endoplasmic reticulum and what are the layers, uh, chemical constants present in that. As a biomedical engineer, we just want need. We need a small description about that. 
what are the things you need actually what are the things that the biomedical engineer need that is the thing we saw okay what is endoplasmic reticulum what is the function and what is the ribosome and what is the function that is what we need okay so that's all so this is about the most important topic of uh, today's that is nucleus nucleolus then uh, what is that endoplasmic reticulum and, and the ribosomes okay so keep on remembering the ter terminology in the nucleus we have nuclear membrane nuclear pores nuclear uh, nucleoplasm nucleolus uh, from the nucleolus it do the function called as it is synthesize of a, that is a storing of the dna these are all the things then come to the endoplasmic reticulum we have the rough endoplasmic reticulum smooth endoplasmic reticulum the roughness will be given by that uh, it will be changed into smoothness to the roughness by the deposition of the ribosomes over there that particular ribosomes do some of the special function that is especially for uh, generating that is synthesizing a protein compound that protein is very helpful for uh, each and every systems of the human body that particular uh, uh, transportation is done because of the presence of the disc shaped cisterna so these are all the important thing you need to know so that's all about uh, this today's uh, topic i hope so you understand about uh, all these things and in the next class uh, we are just going to see the most important thing like this uh, that is the mitochondria golgi apparatus and the lysosomes thank you